Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to speed up your internet service using a different DNS. To begin with, what is a DNS? Domain Name Server, just in case you didn't know. And what it does is basically translates your host name. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Firefox here as a internet browser. And as you can see, if I type in www.google.com, I'm going to get Google. Now, I can also type in the IP address. Let's go ahead and paste that. I had it in memory. And uh, 172.217.23.46. If I type that into the command line here and hit the enter key, that's also going to take me to www.google.com. So, in essence, my DNS server is translating the host name um, so that I don't have to type in an IP address. And that makes it a lot easier. By changing your DNS or using a different DNS server that's faster in translating, your internet speed will speed up. All right, so enough about that. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go down to your taskbar here and either on your Ethernet connection or your Wi-Fi connection, go ahead and right click on it. And when you do, go ahead and left click on Open Network and Internet Settings. And that opens up the status window here. And then if you need to, scroll down until you see Network and Sharing Center. Go ahead and click on that. And that opens up your network and sharing center window. And on this window, you want to go ahead and on the left hand side here, go ahead and click change adapter settings. And that opens up the network connections window. And you can see that in my case, I have a Bluetooth, an Ethernet and a Wi-Fi adapter setting. And right now, the one that's active is my Wi-Fi and go ahead and right click on it and then when you do scroll down and click on properties and that opens up the Wi-Fi properties window let's go ahead and move that so we can see it a little bit better and select and highlight the TCP slash IPv4 internet protocol and once you do click on properties and that opens up the Internet Protocol version 4 properties window. And right down here is what we want to go ahead and change. Now, normally, what you will see is obtain DNS server and address automatically. And this, by default, is the way everybody's Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection is uh, configured. However, what we want to go ahead and do is click on use the following DNS server address. And once you do that, it allows you to type in manually a DNS server that you prefer. And the one that I highly recommend is 1.1.1.1. And as an alternate, 1.0.0.1 will work. Now this DNS, one 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 or four ones is um, recommended out on the internet because it is a super private and fast DNS server and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK here and then I can close this and close out the rest of these things all right now, like I said, this um, DNS server is highly souped after because it's private and it is extremely fast in translating host names and IP addresses. So this means that when you go and open up an internet browser, um, it comes up very quick. And if I was to type in, oh, let's see, how about www yahoo.com um, if I can type it right there we go and hit the enter key and as you can see it came up really super quick 
and that's because this is one of the fastest DNS servers out on the internet today and I highly suggest giving this a try on your computer and see if your response time on accessing the internet is quicker and if it's not and if you're not happy with it you can always go back into the settings and change it back to the way it was okay um, that's the end of this video subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like